So much Guardians of the Galaxy stuff is happening this week, so I'm watching everything and reading everything and trying to catch up on all of it, and I come across this blurb from Guardians director James Gunn. He's talking about some of the different alien races that are in the Marvel Universe, uh, and who owns what. He says that Marvel only owns part of the Skrulls, but none of the Bad Dunes, that they do have the rights to the Sakarans, which is why they'll be featured in the film. But the film's main bad guy, Ronin, is a Kree, so do they own all the rights to the Kree, or is it just Ronin? I got myself confused. But the thing that I'm weirdly fascinated with is the, the elaborate Venn diagram between Fox, Sony, and Marvel about who controls the rights to which characters. Quicksilver, for example, is going to be in X-Men Days of Future Past as well as the Avengers 2. Fox can use them because Quicksilver is Magneto's kid and Magneto's in the X-Men universe. Meanwhile, Marvel can use them because Quicksilver has been a part of the Avengers. From what I understand, Marvel just can't refer to Quicksilver as a mutant, and that's the big deal. Meanwhile, Spider-Man over at Sony, he used to be an Avenger. Wolverine was an Avenger for a long time, but obviously those guys are the big names. But Sinister Six, the, the Avengers fought the Sinister Six at one point, so did the Fantastic Four. So why is it that Sony's the only one that gets to play with them? Or is Sony really the only one that gets to play with the Sinister Six? Maybe the other guys can too? I guess my point with all this is, with all the reboots we've seen over the past couple years and the way that all the Marvel movies have unfolded, it's a miracle that the lawyers let them make any of them at all. But maybe a big giant film version of some of the Civil War storylines is going to be too big and unwieldy for a movie to, to take on anyway, and we're all better off just crossing our fingers for a Spider-Man cameo in like Avengers 5 or something. In the meantime, I'd like to know who is at the dead center of this Venn diagram so that we can start lobbying all three of these companies to make a movie about them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and make sure to come back next week for 90s Week here at Cinefix. We've got all kinds of great content lined up for you, all inspired by the decade leading right up to Y2K. So make sure to subscribe, come back for more movie news, more 90s Week on Cinefix Now. The lawyers are the mutants here. The real villain. The legal profession.